One ordinary day in May, three goddesses from heaven appeared at the door of a likable young college student. The goddesses used their many powers to help people find happiness. And sometimes, for a lark, they would make themselves small. This is their story. Spring has sprung, and the scent of love is in the air. One spring day love will come my way too, and we'll watch the flowers bloom. Oh, my young and lovely bride-to-be. I know in my heart what you'll be like, but I want someone to tell me it's true. At your service! <laughs> I'm the fortune teller who's never wrong when it comes to matters of love! Where did you come from? Thin air? Never mind. No one cares. Whoa! This crystal ball is like what they use for real! See? And now it's time to reveal to you the identity of your future love. But before I do, tell me a little about the woman you're looking for. I want the kind of woman who will set my mind and body afire with burning love. Someone who's passionate and hot-blooded and who makes my temperature continue to rise. Let's see what the cards say. So, it's just a make-believe crystal ball after all. Mm, this is love. Don't concern yourself with the minor details. And now, voila! This is your love. Huh? Oh, boy. Huh? Ah! Help! I'm on fire! Fire! Well, that was hot, but not so good. Welcome back! <laughs> I didn't come back, I was already here! <laughs> it seems there was a small error in my last prediction, so let me give it another try, okay? Didn't you tell me you were never ever wrong? What I told you was not to concern yourself with the minor details, remember? Without further delay! Hold your horses! I've changed the type of woman I'm looking for. She's as sweet as can be, and oh, so cuddly she wants to stick by me. And even though she's sweet, she can stimulate my sensual palate. All right, let's take a look. This is your love! <laughs> it's sweet and sticky and will certainly stimulate your palate. Your silly predictions are immature and terrible and totally idiotic, Erd! Totally idiotic? All right, no more fooling around. This time I'm going to give you the real prediction. I knew you had just been joking around with me up until now. <laughs> So, are you still looking for the same kind of woman? I want to change it. She's got a warm heart, but not always on fire. She's gentle, and she's tolerant, and she wants to take care of me more than anything. I got it. And you understand that you've got to accept this as your destiny. Yo soy la jefe aquí! Voila! As our witness, you are now bound to each other for all eternity, never to be parted. Congratulations on your marriage, Gonchon! Good luck! Gonchon and Kettle sweetly settled into the honeymoon phase of their married life together. Hmm. No, my wife. She can't even move by herself. It's not fair. My wife is a tea kettle. Hi! I can fix all that. Okay! <laughs> Darling, your tea is ready. No. <laughs> that doesn't really fix anything. And why are you doing the voiceover for her anyway? Oh, you could tell it was me? Oh, if she has to pretend to talk, I'd like it to be Belle Dandy's voice. You called? Thank you, Bill Dandy. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, Bill Dandy. Ah! Ah! Will you stop distracting the newlyweds? They're on their honeymoon. Oh, I didn't know. Have a wonderful life together, you two. Ah! Now stop being so fickle. <laughs> Honey, your bath's ready. Ah! Why are you still doing Miss Kettle's voiceover? You don't want me to do it? Well, aren't we nitpicky? If she's my wife, then I'd like Miss Kettle to be able to speak for herself and in her own voice. Aha! Uh -huh. You're actually falling for her, hmm? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
All right, that's what I wanted to hear. Okay! Excuse me. Yeah? Forgive me, but I already have my heart promised to another. What? Mr. Kettle is my true love, and we've decided to elope! And that's how the sweet honeymoon of Gonchan and Miss Kettle ended before they ever had a chance to get to know one another. So, all's well that ends well. How did that end well?